what's what what's what's top of mind for you going into next week? Uh, going into next week, obviously, I think, well, we have inflation data out. I think we'll have the payrolls today. You have to sort of dodge yet another bullet for the dollar. Mm. Uh, but I think really it's the sentiment of, obviously, at the moment, the glass is half full for the markets. It's a risk-on attitude. Mm. If it remains risk-on after the payrolls, which there's no guarantee it will, but if it does, mm. then obviously that's not good for the dollar. But then very quickly, or soon, I should say, in the next two weeks, you know, we have, dare I say, the, the Fed stop plot, which I think the market's expecting 50 basis points, so there's going to be no surprise there, assuming it does do 50. But I think the dot plot is really going to be the key thing, particularly given the market's now pricing a terminal rate of 4.87. So it was 5 at the beginning of the week, it's come down to 4.87. The Fed's going, actually, no, we think it could be 5, maybe higher than 5. So if the dot plot does back that up, it's this challenge again now of market versus the Fed. Who's going to prevail at the end of the day? Mm. And the Fed at the moment is very stubborn, saying, no, we are going to do what we need to do to bring inflation down. And at the moment, while yes, it's ebbing down, it's not coming down quickly enough for them. And in some way, indirectly, too, I mean, they might also need to push back against this dollar weakness, right? Because it sort of undoes a part of what they need to do. I think it, it does to some degree. I think, remember, mm. generally the dollar still up this year yeah. against the vast majority of currencies. So, and you look at Janet Yellen, she says that we're not in the market to really intervene. It just, it's that it be market determined. So, mm. yes, it's going to, it doesn't, the dollar weakness will just add a bit to inflationary pressures. But I think generally the market's going to, we're seeing inflation coming down, we're seeing supply side restrictions coming down. So our expectations are for inflation to come down. Again, the key thing is really from dollar perspective is how quickly does inflation come down? If it remains sticky or just goes down slowly, then the Fed's going to go, I've got to keep rates high for longer, which has been its stance all along. The markets say, no, it's not going to happen. But the, if the Fed is persistent in this one and the inflation data backs it up, then the Fed may end up prevailing, um, which would be see US yields push higher, dollar rebounding. Let's uh, look at some of the other, the opposite sides of the trade here. And just to give an indication, I guess, of, of whether or not there is looming strength in, in the euro, the pound, the yen. Is there anything along those, uh, the other side of the dollar trade that might indicate that the dollar can go, uh, can, can fall further, irregardless really of the Fed and inflation conversation? Yeah, no, because that's a good point. There's always two sides to the equation. Yeah. We looked at the dollar side. So if you're looking at the other side, I think with the euro, which is a big proponent. I mean, if you look at the Bloomberg dollar index, it's about 30, 32%. Yeah. If you do it with the dollar index, it's even more. Yeah. So really what the Euro does really does have a big impact. I think there it's really about what happens with the weather in Europe, how bad is, mm. you know, with gas prices, how does that play out? And also obviously how does the recessionary data play out in Europe? We're expecting some you know recession, but how mild is it? I think winter will be a big factor into that. With the yen, you have some boards uh, Bank of Japan board members raising, just alluding to the chance of a policy review. Some of them are sounding a bit more, not say as dovish as before. So while no one's expecting an imminent one uh, departure, change of policy at the December meeting in a couple of weeks' time, I think once Governor Crowder leaves, the market's like, will we see a policy review then? Inflation is picking up, and if it is, obviously that could mean higher Japanese yields, which would be obviously beneficial mm. for the yen.